Welcome to LearnToCook.com. My name is Chef Michael Zima, and today's segment we are going to be doing a pan-fried chicken and make a pan sauce gravy um, from the pan that we sauteed our chicken in. So we can go ahead and get started. Again, make sure that we coat, make sure our mixture of the seasonings, so we coat each piece nicely. Now this is going to be a little bit of a messy process. So unfortunately, that's the nature of this recipe. But again, a little bit of coating. Now, you might ask, well, why do we use buttermilk? Well, it gives a little bit different flavor, but it also coats uh, much nicer than uh, regular milk. So again, just kind of roll that around a little bit, make sure it's nice and coated. Don't be afraid of a little bit of that coating to stay on your hands. So we're going to add our oil. Now, anytime you're going to brown something or saute something, folks, make sure you, that your oil is hot, okay? Uh, a lot of times people will put the saute pan on the stove, pour their oil, and then heat it up. You know, what you want to do is make sure you heat up the oil before you add any food in it so that as soon as it hits the pan, it'll sear. A little trick I learned years ago from a chef was if you're not sure, you know, you've been using some foil, uh, flour, put a little flour in there and you'll see it bubbling up, okay? Now, I'm going to be placing the chicken in uh, the presentation side down first, all right? So in the case of the chicken breast, I'm going to put that in there. Hear that sizzling? That's searing. That's searing. Okay, now well, they're getting nice, nice golden brown. The other thing, finishing them off in the oven will also help give it a nice golden brown color. Now, be careful, gently remove your chicken pieces. You don't want to remove that nice coating that we have on there. And as I said, we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. And I, I pulled the pan off of the, the heat, basically because I didn't want any uh, or, or additional caramelization of what's in the pan. We're going to strain this sauce, but again, it's a good idea not to uh, So I'm going to strain it here. Then I'll pour this back in there. Then I'm going to add my onions and garlic. Now keep your heat low when you're, when you're doing this because you've got to watch that you don't burn the garlic. It's going to want to cook pretty quick. And I'm going to go ahead and add my stock, a little bit of stock in there. That'll kind of loosen up stuff. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a, we're going to make a little roux out of this fat and a little bit of stock that's in there. Okay, so I'm going to add a little of the stock. Again, I'm going to thin it out a little bit more. Add a little bit of my cream. Cream in there. All right, so got our sauce going on in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add what pan drippings are in the bottom of this pan. There's a, there is a little bit, not much, but you know what? We want to try to get it in the we want to try to get it into the sauce. And we want to try to do that without dumping the chicken in there. Okay. But see how nice and brown, golden brown that chicken is? That's great. Okay. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and strain into the saucepan our nice creamy gravy. And with your strainer, just kind of push back and forth. So what we do is we'll get rid of any of the particles that we don't want into the sauce. Alrighty, so we strained our sauce and um, one of the things I could recommend if you want, you could put a little bit of uh, melted butter on the top of this and that'll prevent a film from coming on the top of your pan sauce or your pan gravy. You can use that for any gravy as well. But So basically, we uh, again, another classical uh, comfort food, mashed potatoes, a little green beans, almondine, a little sauce on the top and a little sauce on, on the side and you're ready to impress your family and friends. Thank you for coming to learntocook.com.